Hey there, so this video is just going to walk you through some of the basic setup and use of Google Classroom. So when you go to classroom.google.com and you're signed into your College Unbound account, uh, you will find your list of courses here. Once you hover your mouse over and click on the course, it will bring you into the main course itself. Once you're in here, a uh, couple things just worth noting. This is your main page, or this is the stream. So you can think of this as this is your announcements page. Uh, anytime you want to do an announcement, you click in this area. You decide you want it to go to all students or some students. You just start typing and writing in whatever you need to do. You can add a Google file. You can upload a document. So if you had a PDF you wanted to share along, a link, or if there was a YouTube video, so you write your stuff and then when you're ready over here in the right corner you can post and it will go live <clears throat> that means it will show up here it will also be emailed to your students and then if you don't want it to go live you want it to go a little bit later you can schedule or if you want to come back to it you can save it as a draft so this is used really for just sending messages out updates you know uh, letting students know if there's been any types of changes and the like now let's go over to classwork this is going to be one of your primary so it's asking me to discard yes i want to discard i don't want to save that when you come over to your classwork what you're going to see is the template of our materials um, so what you'll want to do is as you as you do certain things, come in here and fill them out. So the first thing would be the syllabus. You would come into full syllabus, you would edit, and then right here you would upload the file, or if it was a Google file, uh, such as a Google Doc, then you would select and you would find it among your Google documents, and then you would select it and <clears throat> it would show up here. Uh, we don't recommend putting it in here, and whenever you see these bracketed things, that means that's notes for you, um, and you can delete them when you're done. But very similarly, like I said, you can upload it as a file, you can uh, add it from your Google Drive, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this. And again, same dynamic up here. When you're ready, you can post, uh, but you can also schedule or save it as a draft. Uh, when you're in this area, when you're in your classroom, you'll notice anything grayed out is mean it, it means that it's in draft. So it's gray here, and then over on the right, it tells you that it's a draft. So what you want to do is each week, uh, or set up for each week, so if this is week one, you want to insert what the dates are. If you have a title or a particular ID, big idea for the week, you'd put that right after. And you can do that by clicking on these three dots on the right hand corner. You select, you can rename this, you can delete it, or you can copy it. You can also move it up and down. So if you want to move it around, you're also able to do that. Uh, that's another thing, you can do it that way. You can also click and drag. Um, so you have a couple different options there. Again, similarly here, these are different things that you are asking them to do. So um, <clears throat> the little clipboard gives you an indication of what the actual activity is. Uh, so notice this is a bookmark. So you've got bookmarks, clipboards, um, seeing if the third one is here. Nope. But whenever you want to create, if there's something that isn't there that you want to create, you come up to the big green create button or it might be a different color in your course, but you click create and you can create an assignment, a quiz, a question, material, or reuse something from somewhere else. Topic are these big green section headers. So those section headers are really indicating um, everything below them is like all wrapped into one. So if you notice, we have each week is a topic and then several things under it. So assignment is if you are assigning something that they are going to be submitting as a document, um, as a video, any kind of file that you anticipate them uploading that you will then be giving feedback on. Quiz is exactly that. If you want to create a quiz where they're answering some questions. Question is Google Classroom's equivalent of a discussion forum. So you would pose a question and then people can respond and see one another's responses. It's not a great discussion tool, I'll say that right off the bat, but uh, this is a way to have that. You can also have a questions forum so that if they have questions, they can ask it here as well as via email and elsewhere. Material, this is you know any content, any text, any documents that you want them to look at. Uh, and then reusing a post, you take something from another course. 
So if we look down here, we see week one agenda is a bookmark. So you would select it. And again, here we give you a rough idea of what an agenda would look like or what we would anticipate. So read, view, listen. These would be materials for the week. Do what are the things they should be doing in that given week, and reflection. What are the you know? Uh, there's a couple different ways this can be done. This can be done as uh, adding to their personal learning plan and having them share that with you. You could be a check-in where they're just writing a reflection. Um, so they have a couple different options around that. So again, you would go through at this point. This is the layout. There's not a lot much. There's not much more to. Google Classroom, at least in terms of setting it up. So you would go in and, you know, clarify the agenda. If there was documents you would have, you would add them as additional material. If there was assignments, you would have them add those. And again, the assignments could be reflection, it could be updates, those kind of things. One thing I will also note is that if you go and you create something, so let's pre pretend we're creating an assignment. Um, it's telling some new information there, but we'll ignore it. We'll call this assignment number one, uh, reflect uh, on the reading. So you give it a title, you give it some text here, and again, you can boldface italics, play around with that text to kind of make it clear. If there's any additional information that you want them to know or things that they should be using in tangent, um, you can upload those. Over on the right is actually kind of a is some of the cool features. So it's asking where do you want this for? Well, in this in this case, it's the class that you're in. If you wanted to assign it to particular students, then category of grade. And so I'll show you categories in a minute. But if you have different categories, such as you know, I have a uh, I have reflections is 25%, and um, the experiential project is. 40% and you know weekly participation is another 20% uh, 30% I don't think that's 100 but uh, so you would select that category and then the amount of points that you would want you could also change that up to ungraded and so you might have some things that are ungraded but are still assignments you can select the due date so that that shows up to students when they it on their calendars as to when it's due in topic, I like this piece because this allows me to drop it in, oh, this is going to be in week four. Okay, I want it in week four. I can also create a rubric, and this is really good, you know, for both giving feedback and helping um, to kind of clarify what the expectations are. So you can very easily select a rubric, you can reuse one, you can import one from Sheets, or you can create your own. So once all of that is done, again, you do assign, or you would do schedule or save draft. I'm going to discard draft. And then finally, the creating the categories for the grades. So if you go up to your little settings wheel here, it gives you class settings um, and it tells you different pieces of information. And where you want to do is come down to grading. Um, and this allows you to either set category by total points, no overall grade, or weighted by category. When it says weighted by category, that means you come down to the categories and you say, okay, this, I want, you know, uh, this particular category, whether it's check-in reflections, what have you, can be this percent. The uh, experiential project can be 50%. And I can keep adding categories until to make sure that the remaining is 0% because that means these add up to 100. Um, there's a couple other features here you can just kind of be aware of. The invite link, which will be important for inviting students to the class. Um, allowing kind of allowing what students can and can't do within the class um, but that's pretty much it that is the the large of it for um, Google Classroom uh, I hope this is helpful if you have any questions please let me know